bring something else up. Since the first part of our meeting really um, talked about qualifications for the board and why Bill Moyer and Jim Kowalczyk were both highly qualified. And let me just say that one of the reasons why I do have faith that Tim Eden could do a good job in this position is, is, um, is interesting that it parallels Bill Moyer. Mm -hmm. And what he said in his letter is he's the head of materials processing division at the Applied Research Lab. So I'm sure if we asked Bill Moyer to give a recommendation for Tim Eden and vice versa, they probably would both speak very, very highly of each other. He is responsible for a multi-million dollar per year budget, set up and operation of laboratory facilities, strategic planning, program development, and supervision of a diverse group of staff and faculty. I work with Penn State and South Hills Business School students on a regular basis. As a result of these interactions, I have become aware of how different high school curriculums prepare students to become successful. I have taught classes at both Penn State and Weber State Universities. My experience also includes six years in the construction field working primarily with electrical and heating and air conditioning contractors. I mean, the guy has the experience in facilities. He has the experience in, with budgets. He has the experience with planning. He works with students that are produced by high schools all over the Commonwealth, either at, through Penn State or South Hills Business School. He probably sees which school districts, like ours, have excellent programming in CTC and other fields, and which school districts don't. He would probably be a great asset when it comes to questions of curriculum development. And on the next page, he talks about what he does currently with children and students in the district. He's a member of PTO, numerous athletic, music, and thespian booster clubs at Mount Nittany and State College Area High School. He's a volunteer football coach at Mount Nittany Middle School, 2001, and a volunteer football coach at the Assembly of God 2000, volunteer coach for Little League Baseball, Pioneer Basketball, Parks and Rec Basketball and Softball, tutored middle and high school students in math, Spanish, and sciences, and foreign language is on the cutting edge right now put into curriculums and he gave scientific presentations in elementary and middle schools, and he's an assistant Boy Scout leader. He's got a PhD in mechanical engineering, MS in mechanical engineering. I mean, honestly, you cannot say that these things don't also parallel Bill Moyer, and yet he's currently really involved in the district at all different age levels, between tutoring, between coaching, you know, serving on um, with South Hills Business School and Penn State. So I just feel like you really can't, downplay his value so it, I guess I do kind of wonder why he never got the radar if Bill Moyer so great to you but this guy works in the same field as Bill Moyer and he didn't get one vote for any of you guys when they're almost parallel people different names and the only difference is he hasn't been on the school board question to you guys was at the end of my speech how did you not give Tim any kind of consideration when he parallels experience-wise, except his is really current, Bill Moyer. And he gives tours of his lab to our district. It says he enjoyed providing tours of his labs to students involved in the state high tech ed program. His children are currently and have gone through our district taking honors, advanced college prep classes. They participate in tech ed, athletics, music, and theater. And he feels these experiences have given him a broad exposure to most of what our school district offers, plus an understanding of the programs and issues facing its students and teachers. Let me just say that the programs and the challenges facing Bill Moyer's student children when they were in our district are far different than the challenges facing our district right now with the students who are there currently. So I will say that Tim, to me, gets more points for the fact that his kids are currently experiencing our curriculum and our program and how we got to where it was and what's working and what's not. What Bill Moyer's kids went through is completely some things we aren't even doing now. The building, the facilities aren't even set up the same way. So I just want to know how four of you saw two people with almost identical experience and didn't even have any consideration for Tim Eden, but you had so much consideration for Bill Moyer. That's all I want to know. I'd like to understanding that you encouraged Bill to apply for this. Is that, is uh, that Bill right? And I, Bill and I talked about that, yes. Could you um, explain why you thought, I mean, assuming that you thought he would be qualified to do this, could you explain that? Well, I knew that Bill did have prior experience, you know, with the board, and I knew that, I knew that he had served. 
Um, I know Bill, and Bill's a fine individual. Um, at the point that he and I, you know, talked originally, I had no idea how many people, you know, were going to apply. If you'll recall, up to the Friday before the um, applications were due, we only had three, three you know, Maynard people, three. three people who had applied, um, and, and I was concerned, you know, not knowing who they were whether we were going to get anybody who, you know, actually was qualified, uh, in my opinion. I do believe that Bill is qualified, and, you know, I'll stand by that, uh, you know, obviously. Uh, well, it seems to me, thank you, uh, it seems to me the choice for us is between accepting Bill as a, as a qualified candidate or basically abdicating our responsibility and sending it to the courts. And if we have to choose between those two, uh, this kind of the decision that's in front of us, uh, we're, you know, what's your feelings about that? Would you rather go to the courts than accept Bill? Well, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Let's not make it seem like that's what it is because that's looking at the glass half empty. And I'm looking at this as the glass half full. So let's get some perspective. I think we should vote on the motion and then we, ca I might move to put Tim Eaton and go through the list of things, his multi-million dollar budget experience, all those things that you might not you, have really you, looked. You, you believe that Tim Eaton could get five votes? Yeah, I okay. do. Oh, you can try and see. Right. Um, you know, to get back to your question, I do believe that there are, you know, other people who will fill the bill for us better among the people then, that we're aware of, then someone else. Bill right now. No, I, I believe that we have the people right in front of us. Um, I, I truly, I believe. Who is, who is that person? May I ask? Well, I believe that Jim Walchick is that person. Uh, he certainly is my first choice. Is that um, someone who can get five votes? Uh, it doesn't appear to be. So then that gets us back to. That gets our us choice. back to, you know, the person that Dorothea first brought up and that I, you know, mentioned as well is Tim Eden. I was very impressed with Tim's. Uh, you think Tim can get five votes. Um, it appears that he, you know, won't be able to if that's how you know you have voted, and you know if this is an indication of you know where we're headed. Then you know he may not be able to. So, but that's you know, so we're back to our our dilemma. All right now that gets to your other point that you made about abdicating our responsibility, and I don't see it that way. Um, I th I see that we have a policy in front of us to be able to handle these kind of things. Um, I see that we have four, you know, individuals on this board who are very strong-willed and very strong-minded and support one person. I see that we have four very strong-willed and strong-minded people on this board who support a different person. And I don't see, you know, the willingness to compromise and, and cross over there. Um, and when that occurs, there is policy that guides us. Um, you know, as to how to proceed. Okay, so you don't accept that characterization. I, 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 I don't. That. I don't accept it as an abdication, and I don't accept it as a failure on our part to be able to do what we are elected to do. Okay, so you however feel you like, characterize it, but then you, it still would be your preference to go to the court rather than agree on a candidate. No, I would much rather agree on a candidate, um, and, and I welcome you to you know to go ahead and compromise on you know, one of the candidates that I've put out there. I think I've put out two very fine individuals at this point, uh, Jim Powalczyk and Tim Eden, and I welcome you to, you know, compromise and look at those individuals as, you know, being qualified and, and able to fill Barney's spot. Um, 